I would hesitate to express myself on that today in terms of by what time you have the freedom of information uh, act on the statute book. So I have it before Parliament. I know that it has been engaging the attention of the drafts people at the Chief Parliamentary Council's office, the Attorney General's office. As I said, when I was Attorney General, we had a draft before us and we went right, we worked right through the night, or not right through, right into the night, uh, going through it line by line and word by word. But that was our effort as the Governance Committee over which I presided. But then we had to send it on to the Chief Parliamentary Council's office for their analysis of it. Their analysis would be slightly different from ours because not only are they going to look at the piece of legislation itself in terms of what it says clause by clause, but they have to satisfy themselves that it does not conflict with other pieces of legislation in the system. So they do a lot of cross-referencing and so on. So that when the bill comes before Parliament, it is consistent with the Constitution and it is not in conflict with other pieces of legislation uh, related to the public administration of the country. What we are being told is that there is substantial overlap between the provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act and the integrity uh, legislation. And we're being asked whether we want both pieces of legislation. That's what we're being asked by the, the Attorney General's chambers. Whether we want both pieces of legislation. Because there is a school of legal thought that the provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act adequately cover most of the issues that would be uh, covered in an integrity uh, act. So that's a, an issue on which we have to make a freedom of information. When I was Attorney General, we, we, we basically completed our side of that. That, is, that has been with the Chief Parliamentary Council for some time. Um, that is on the cards. That, that's a manifesto commitment of, 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 the, of the, the Democratic Labour Party. And that's not a commitment uh, in respect of which we are about to recite. That's why I'm aware that, I'm, that, that I'm, yes, those discussions have been taking place and that there will be an input in respect of our national stadium as well. We, we, I, do, I do agree with you that. It is in desperate need of modernization, and we have been having those discussions uh, and in the fullness of time. Not too, too, too long from now, we should have a very modern uh, national stadium, something of which we can all be proud of. So we can't, we can't pin you down to a, a timetable? No, you got to try and pin the Chinese down. <laughs> One-off performances are no treated as occasions for coronation. You get a flash in the pan, a one-off performance, and a red carpet is rolled out uh, for the performance. He's crowned with laurels, he or she crowned with laurels, and becomes a hero overnight. There's nothing called overnight heroism. There's nothing called overnight genius. Uh, this whole idea of heroism and genius calls for a certain amount of stick to itiveness, a certain amount of heart, uh, a certain amount of stamina. And if it's, if, if it's anything that has happened in this country over the last 25 years that has caused me the gravest possible concern. This has nothing at all to do with my being Prime Minister or anything else. As a citizen of our leaders, is watching these one-off performances qualifying people for coronation. You know, um, making people feel that their genius is overnight. It doesn't happen that way. 
and the real geniuses of Barbados, of course, had to go through full careers, long careers, slugging away at it, in order to reach the stage where they could be called great. So I think that's, that's something we have to watch. And unfortunately, it is not only a feature of what is happening here in Barbados, and watching that same trend developing in other parts of the Caribbean. It doesn't work that way. People have to understand the importance of sticking to the task of, of running the full race and running it more than once doing well more than once, so that when you decide that you're going to describe them as great, when you describe that you're going to put a crumb on, or really when you determine you're going to put a crumb on their head, they really deserve that crumb. No, 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 no one-off flashing the band performances 